Do you use these eight items that took my pond fishing to the next level? So if you've been fishing for any length of time at all, you know that inevitably you're gonna hook a fish down deep in the throat. You can't stick your fingers down there and reach the hook and pull it out without just ripping it out and killing the fish. So that's why I always care pliers, specifically like a needle nose set of pliers or even hemostats. That way I can reach into the mouth and remove the hook without hurting the fish any more than necessary. Growing up in the country, I've always carried a pocket knife. And that includes when I'm fishing. If I didn't have a pocket knife, I carried scissors. And if I didn't have either one of those, I carried nail clippers. I've tried all kinds of different products for cutting line and getting out of sketchy situations. And honestly, the best product that I've found to date for cutting my line is line cutters. Line cutters come in several different variations or styles. That way you can find the one that it fits your exact situation. For instance, there's one that goes on the bill of a hat. There's some that go on your fingers as a ring. And there's even some that come with little clippers. And then on the other end is the patented lines cutters technology. And then there's some that even stick onto a kayak. I mean, whatever you need, they have it. And this isn't a sponsored ad. I've bought their products and use them every single time I'm out on the water. That's because they cut all kinds of line. I've seen them cut 200 pound braided line and the little bitty thin stuff that scissors just kind of tend to twist and don't cut very well. Whatever kind of fishing line you fish with, a line cutters product will cut it. Unlike when fishing from a boat, most of us don't have a place to store all of our tackle. That's why I highly recommend a tackle bag or I like to keep my Yak Black Pack Pro in the back of my truck. Now, if I'm gonna go pond hopping and looking for a bag, the Yak Attack Black Pack Pro just isn't gonna cut it. But most places that I fish, I can walk right back to my truck and get everything out and it keeps all my tackle organized. I know since you're an expert angler, you've noticed how slimy fish are after you've handled them. And then that slime gets on your hands and it's like, what do I do? Do I wipe it on my clothes, on my pants, or do I try to wash it off? You can do all that and smell like fish for the rest of the day, or you can bring along a hand towel and wipe it off on the hand towel. I actually have a video on how to clean your hands and remove that stinky fish smell. I'll leave that linked right here. But what I like to do is actually wash the slime off in the water and then use the towel to dry my hands. That way the towel doesn't get just absolutely disgusting every single time I'm out on the water. One thing you notice if you've watched any of my other videos, I always wear a hat. Typically, I'm using a hat to block the sun, but in videos, it doesn't make for very good video because it covers my eyes and makes my eyes hard to see and you wanna see my eyes. So for now, it's backwards, but generally I'm wearing a hat and it's covering my eyes, protecting me from the sun. I think a hat is one of the most important things you should use when you're fishing, period, because that sun is actually harmful as much as I love it. And on top of that, I don't like squinting all day. Now you can wear sunglasses. Once again, I don't wear them in videos because it covers my eyes, but I do wear them fishing. So a hat and sunglasses are definitely something you should consider wearing while fishing. And if you wanna know what the best sunglasses are, I've actually got a video on that as well that I'll link right here. One of my jobs in college was watering 10,000 trees one summer. It was brutal. It was a lot of work. I had to drive around in a little UTV with a water tank on the back and water these, go back, fill up the tank and go and water all the trees. On top of that, it was in a very remote area where there were bugs, specifically mosquitoes and chiggers that just absolutely love me. I'm so sweet that they just love my blood. Don't ask my wife about that, just take my word for it. So I would come home sunburned from being in the sun all day and ate up with mosquitoes and chiggers and I hated it. So I got the genius idea, hey, I'm gonna use sunscreen and bug spray. I sprayed them both on the next day while at work and come home and I'm burnt and itchy still. What the heck happened? Now I'm no chemist, but apparently they cancel each other out. That's why I went and found a sunscreen bug spray combo and it hasn't let me down yet. And when I'm fishing at ponds, specifically a long bank, if there's any kind of grass, I don't care if it's short, tall, or thick woods, I've got it on because I'm not a fan of mosquitoes, ticks, or chiggers. And I don't like getting baked by the sun and looking like a lobster. Here in Oklahoma in the summer, the days are hot. I mean, we're talking 100 plus degrees easily. So that makes fishing pretty miserable, to be honest. That's why I like getting up really early before the sun or letting the sun set and going fishing then. But 
I can't see if I do that. And if I try to use the flashlight on my phone, it doesn't work out. You can't fish with one hand and look at everything around you while you're holding your flashlight with the other. That's why I use a headlamp. Number one, it's way brighter, way better than the light on my phone, and I can wear it on my head and keep both of my hands free. I'm always looking for new places to fish, whether it's private property or public bodies of water. However, getting permission and determining what's private and what's public is very tough. That's why I started using Onyx Maps. Now, once again, I pay for this subscription. It's not sponsored, but I absolutely love Onyx just for the simple fact that I can survey an area very quickly via satellite maps and see who owns that land so I know who to go up and ask. Now, it wasn't designed for anglers, so there's a few things that I'm not a huge fan of, but I hunt also, so I use it a lot for that too. But with that said, anglers still can greatly benefit from Onyx Maps. Now that you know what gear you need to take your pond fishing to the next level, it's time to learn how to actually fish a pond. And I've got that video below me right now, and I can't wait to see you there.